Call of Duty. Cod. This is a series with a fan base spanning generations, from the sound minded 25 plus to the teens who are gonna bang your mum. Nevertheless, Cod has always had a good fan base, but it's dropping. Its new release, Black Ops 4, is around the corner, the beta is out. What do we think? Let us start with the bad. This way we can end the video on a, on a good note. Bad point number one, flinch. Flinch is something that I don't mind. It usually adds a layer of realism that is accepted by myself. Because if you get shot, you're probably going to flinch. But in this beta, when you get shot, the screen darkens as well. Making it almost impossible to see. Just for that split second, every time a bullet hits you, causing you to miss sometimes some of the easiest kills. Time to kill. Now I'm all for longer time to kill. I want to feel like if I'm quick enough, I can get behind cover while under fire. But, and I think this is more of a connection thing and probably going to be sorted after the beta, I can shoot at someone in one match and absolutely slaughter them. Then in the next game I can shoot first and when they react, I'm the one who dies. And sometimes these people react super slow. It seems you can destroy a group of players, then one guy will act slow and murk you faster than the Flash having some... A long time. <laughs> UI. Now my next point is something mostly objective and is also something that will probably change a little after the beta. And this is the UI, the user interface. Something to me seems off. I can't find my challenges, but maybe this will be different on release. As well as camos too. I also find that using the R1 and L1 to cycle through your creator classes, that has to go. It's annoying because... All these years we've been used to this list system and now we're stuck with this stupid little tab thing. As well, the the fake mouse icon, that worked in Destiny. It doesn't work here. It seems out of place. Control. Now this last one on the bad list is the new game mode, Control. This game mode gives each team 60 lives and the defending team two zones the goal is for the attacking team to take over both zones before one of the teams runs out of lives or the time counts down. This sounds good on paper, but by COD's natural nature, you get a lot of one-man armies, and this game mode is clearly for the team players. And from experience, playing as a solo player in this beta, beta it's really hard because you get put with idiots who go for the kills, and you'll be playing against an actual team of like real players who play together. I usually play with others, but on your own, you're going to struggle, and I feel like that's going to turn a lot of people off from this. But oh well, that's the bad. It's not all bad news, not by a long mile. And these are my good points. Graphics. Bit of a controversial one here. Now, while the graphics are not a massive improvement, people have been saying that they look exactly like Black Ops 3, saying it could easily be a DLC. These people are fucking idiots. The graphics look loads better than World War 2, with a more realistic colour palette, that is a little dull in comparison, however minor details do shine through. For example, the metal walls and floors of scratches, and my favourite part is that the blood of your enemies can sometimes splat onto your gun. I definitely saw it, I couldn't find proof, but in case you don't believe me, here's a picture of a raptor with a bazooka riding a flying shark. Cheers. Show me this in Black Ops 3, exactly. While the main aesthetic is similar, it's these changes that make the difference. Gunplay. Call of Duty has always had great gunplay, and this one is no different. The guns feel heavy when they should, and light when it's necessary. Submachine guns are light, and assault rifles are a tad heavier. I have not used an LMG yet, though I have used a sniper rifle, and this is what happened the first time I did that. It was fun. Well, the aiming out of sights is quick. Hostile bat. It's not what I was expecting. Aiming down the sights is solid too and the new recoil system shines bright and where I thought it would make aiming harder, it actually makes it easier. One minor thing in this category probably would be that the maps seem to be made with some wall running elements. So it's almost like they were gonna do wall running and then everyone was like, no, we don't want wall running. Halfway through in the fort, we'll just scrap the wall running but we'll keep the, the side panels in. Next up is maps, actually. I only managed to play two maps, I can't even remember their names. However, they were both great and easy to follow with the usual 
three lane system is used again here and i must say i like it the maps i played seemed like they probably aren't the game's best maps but they're better than most of which we had in world war ii at launch and supposedly this game is going to have loads more maps than world war ii as well not to mention the fact that the beta actually came with six maps so how i ended up getting put on the same two maps within an hour is unbelievable so there it is a few things to mention the loading times are a bit awful at the moment when you're in the pre-game lobby but i'm assuming that's going to change i was waiting like a good two minutes after it said you know that the lobby was full but oh well it may seem like there's a uh, more bad than good but i'm liking this game so far hopefully the full release will see an improved spawning system as well and maybe the ui will be clearer to me the more i play i don't know people are pissed at the non-inclusion of a single player but really when was the last time anyone cared that there was one in the first place anyway that's a video for another time but did you play the beta if you did what did you think comment below let us know but until next time this has been fish from great gamers great games if you've enjoyed this video please remember to smack the like button subscribe and maybe share us around so we can get some sort of traction going Peace.